people. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I wanted to talk about this fight because I'll be honest with you, this fight is not getting the promotion it deserves. This fight is not getting the, the, the credit and acclaim it deserves. And you know what, here on True School Sports, let, 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 let me put my promoter's hat on. True School Sports promotions in full effect, because sometimes I do a better job promoting these fights. Actually, not sometimes, many times, I do a better job promoting these fights than these own fighters, damn promoters do promoting the fights. So let me promote this fight on this video. So save the date, February 5th. It'll be a momentous occasion, you know? You only live but once, and when you're dead, you're done. So let the good times roll, baby. That's Don, Don, Don Kid said that. Okay, you're gonna have Sisriket Sorung Vasai, one of the hardest, most devastating punches in the world. Okay, coming back to fight Carlos Quadras, you know, one of boxing's true Mexican warriors, a guy that's been at the top level at 115 pounds for so long. They're gonna have a rematch of what was a really interesting fight in 2014. If you guys haven't watched it, I would highly advise you guys do go watch it. Um, Rung Vasai uh, was an unknown. Uh, fighter back then taking on Carlos Cuadras went to Mexico to fight him and this is back when Cuadras was young undefeated had the cornrows look, look like a whole different person and uh, it was a good fight I, I believe the fight ended I, I know it ended on a technical decision because of a head clash I'm not sure if it was six seven or eight rounds but it, it wasn't the fight didn't make it to, to the championship rounds that much I know and it was a really good fight I, I feel like the style match was really good you know you had Carlos Cuadras as the as the slicker, more elusive fighter, uh, moving around the ring, counter punching Rung Vasai. But then you had Rung Vasai, who I I truthfully believe does not get the credit he deserves for being the the thinker that he is, the the skilled boxer that he is. And he would later go on to prove later on in his career that he could be a skilled boxer against one of the most skilled boxers in Gael Estrada when he outboxed and outthought Rung Vasai. You know, flipped the script on. Um, Guy Wastrada, I just say. Rung Vasai flipped the, strict, flipped the script on Guy Wastrada when they fought the first time and outboxed him. But he was doing a lot of that in that fight. He was, a lot of times, Quadras was moving around the ring and he would throw these jabs and sometimes he would leave himself a little bit squared up. So Rung Vasai would slip the punch. He would dig his left hand into the stomach and he was landing some hard, I'm talking about hard counters. And and he and Rumba, and uh, Quadras didn't want that smoke. But the fight, as the fight was heating up and Rung Vasai was really settling into a, a great rhythm, there was a head clash. They stopped the fight on a head clash. They went to the scorecards and they gave Quadras the fight. So this is a rematch of a fight that took place in 2014. That was like, what, eight years ago? Eight, yeah, eight years ago now. And um, it's just good that this fight's happening because I'll, I'll tell you guys this, and I'm, I'm going to do a separate video on this. But like when we talk about, I remember a while ago when, when, when Tia Fimo was undefeated. Um, they were trying to hail these guys at 135 like Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, Javante Davis, and Tiafimo Lopez as the, as the modern day four kings. Kind of like giving the analogy of uh, what Duran, Leonard, Hearns, and Hagler were in the 80s, right? And that's just blasphemous. Now, if there was ever, and, and this is just only my humble opinion, if there was ever a modern day four kings in boxing, it ain't them guys at 135, and ain't nobody at 147, and ain't nobody at heavyweight, there was a modern day four kings of boxing. Those those modern day four kings are in this weight class right here, the super flyweight division. You know, Ch with, with Chalatito leading the way, of course. We got you know Romo Gonzalez, Chalatito Estrada, uh, Ch 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 Chalatito Gonzalez. You know, really being the flag bearer for the weight class. Um, he was the guy that really put this weight class on a whole other level. And it started when he was at 112, and he fought on HBO back in the day and, and garnered a lot of attention for the small guys. But you know, you got him, Guy Estrada, one of the best technical fighters in the sport a true mexican warrior who's beaten every man he's ever stepped, in the, stepped, into, stepped into the ring with on paper because i don't think he beat Chalatito, but you know a great fighter nonetheless an a-level fighter creme de la creme top shelf him um and then these two guys right here you know sis wicket sorong Vasai, who really was the underdog's underdog when, when when he came out of nowhere to win a close fight against Chalatito in 2017, hand him the first loss of his career, one of the biggest upsets in boxing history. Then he then he followed it up in the rematch by absolutely knocking him out cold. Then he followed that up by outboxing and outthinking the thinker 
in the boxer and guy with Strada. And uh, he's just cemented himself as one of the top guys in this weight class. And then last but not least, we gotta give, give him credit, Carlos Cuadras, a man that's fought anybody, anywhere, any place, any time. You know, Carlos Cuadras has given us great fights over the years with the likes of Chalatita, with the likes of Gaio, with the likes of Rong Versailles. Um, when everybody counted him out and they thought he was done for good, you know, he, he even, um, well, no, that was, no, he lost that fight. Never mind, he lost that fight. But anyway, e e either way you cut it up, slice it, slice it and dice it, Cuadras has been a great dance partner for all these guys, made a great fight. So I will look at these guys as the four kings. These are four men that have not ducked and dodged and, sh you know, been avoiding people and whatnot, and, and, and they've been willing to fight on all comers. So I look at this fight, going back to this fight, pivoting back into this fight, Rung Versai versus Quadras is gonna be a great fight. You know, um, I really feel like, you know, Rung Versai is trying to uh, keep pay, keep up pace with the other guys in the weight class, like Gaia, uh, like Chalatito, like Gaio, um, like Kazuto Ioka, like Joan Ancajas, and, and keep his place towards the top of that division intact. And, it, and, and, and you know, um, I know, I, I believe that Rung Versai will be up for this fight because he feels like, you know, he was done hard, he was done wrong by the, by the judges in Mexico and the referees and everything. So he's gonna wanna not just beat Quadras, but fold him up and give, give him that Chalatito treatment. You know, and for, for Quadras, you know, this is a guy that, I hate to say it, but like, you can make the argument, if you go back and watch the Rung Versai fight, you can make the argument that even though he's given a great account of himself and been a great dance partner for all of the three, uh, the other three kings, um, you can make the argument that he's never actually won a fight against Chalatito, Estrada, or Rung Versai. You can really make the argument. And um, I'm looking at this for, for Quadras as a chance to really have that signature win, that true signature win on his resume. And what? And, and honestly, I, I think if he could do that against Rung Versai at this stage of his career, considering all he's went through, uh, especially getting stopped by Gaio Estrada in their rematch, that would be a big statement for him. And I really think it would be uh, uh, a great opportunity for him to get the respect that he uh, deserves. Because I, I, I really believe that Quadras... Um, hasn't gotten his just due and maybe he gets overlooked and even sometimes me like as, as a fan of this weight class sometimes I overlook him because he hasn't been able to get over the hump in those big fights but he's been a, an amazing dance partner and this weight class would not be what it l l let me make this very clear 115 the super flyweight division a division that has given not just myself but many boxing fans hardcore boxing fans over the years so many great nights of boxing it wouldn't be the weight class it's been without Carlos Cuadras so sometimes in boxing, it's not about winning and losing. Sometimes it's about, you know, the moments you get people in. Quadras has given people some great moments, some great fights, and, you know, it would be good to see him get the win here. But, uh, hey, you know what? Great fight. We're, I'm going to be talking about it more here on True School Sports as it gets closer, and it's not that far away now, so I better start talking about it real, real soon. But let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think about Quadras versus Rung Versai? Who are you favoring and why? Leave all, leave all those comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content interviews news videos breakdowns live fight reaction extravaganza we've got a great community of, of people here boxing fans all over the world from america to the uk to australia and on and on and on so join the empire today hit that subscribe button take care and god